Hi guys. I'm here today to talk to you about a game that I've been playing with myself with my stash and my shoes. Two of my most favorite things. Uh, two of the things that I have the most of. Stash and shoes. And sometimes I like to take out a pair of shoes and play with my stash and find what looks good and then cast on something new. And sometimes it's a pair of socks and sometimes it's something else. Uh, because sometimes just playing with your stash comes up with something. I've never done this before where I've taken a bunch of shoes and a bunch of stash and laid them out together like this. Look at this. You can't even see. There's a ton. There's a ton. Okay. I hate pulling that back up. It takes a second for me to not have crazy glow Casper face. Okay, you can see my patterns here. This is my cutting table. This is where I cut out um, sewing patterns and do sewing stuff. Sorry about that. I need to keep... I had this all set. How about that for realness, right? Okay. So, I wanted to talk a little bit about this game that I'm playing and invite you to do it with your own stuff. And... Most of the shoes, I don't know if you noticed, most of them are clogs. I wear them for work. And, um, you know, I got a pair on right now. Those are a really, really old pair of Cinitas. Um, and yes, I'm a Cinita brand ambassador. I'm not here to sell you Cinitas. I will post the code down below. You can get a discount until April. I became a brand ambassador for them because these are the shoes I wear all the time. Love them. I wear boots a lot in the winter just because of snow. Uh, so you don't see my socks. And in the middle of summer, I get overheated really easily. So I'm mostly wearing sandals without socks. That middle period, which we're about heading into, is clog time for me. And I keep a couple pairs of clogs at work so on the snowiest days I just wear my big fat snow boots and then I change into clogs for work because they're comfortable my feet are happy but I will either wear just plain black socks which is boring or I've got to kind of match my socks if I'm not wearing like the you know wide bootleg pants that cover it up because I want them to match so that's what I've decided to play. Sometimes I'll take just one pair of shoes and you've seen it on my Instagram with the new Sanitas that I have. I've been making socks to match them. I haven't finished a pair yet. Uh, you know how I am. If you've been following long enough, you know that uh, I'm more about the making, starting than about the finishing. And uh, that's okay with me because this is my happy time activity. I don't feel a need to have a finished thing all the time. And that's just me. So uh, let's get into doing the matchy matchy stuff that I've been playing with. Cause I want to show you, you know, the kind of fun that I've been doing. And um, I don't know, maybe you want to play too. So these shoes, when they were one of my choices, I was like, yes, I love these. And part of what I loved about them was this yarn. I knew that I was making this day glow limey lemon color yarn that I call ginkgo and that it was going to be perfect for it. Right? You can see that walking down the street. Love that. And you see this. I will link to the patterns down below. I'm not doing a blog post. Uh, blog posts take me a long time and I kind of don't have a whole lot of time right now. so. I'm just gonna put up the video so that the videos are going up. That's been what's stopping me from putting some so many videos up is uh, the time that it takes to put together the blog post and the video. So I'm just gonna do the videos and I'm gonna try to link to things. If I miss the links for things that you want, make sure you ask me. It might take me a couple of days, but I will get back to you. Okay, the next pair of shoes are also Sunita and also came from the brand ambassador program. I wasn't sure I was gonna like these because of the wooden sole. I mean, have some wooden ones, uh, but these are kind of fancy for me. And 
they're sexy. I love these, love them. I got so many compliments wearing them and we had a couple of nice days and so I wore them without socks. But I wanna be able to wear them with socks and if you're on my Instagram, you saw that I asked people what they thought I should, um, what kind of socks or what yarn and this is what I chose. I haven't told you on Instagram yet, but I'm going to, I promise. Maybe even today I'll go on there and post about it. Oops. It's the same pattern as the limey ones because I like it, but it's a different weight. So it's a different cast on number. I just fiddle with things like that. The other two that I have that I want to do for that are these. This one is hand spun and I've had it wound up for a while and I've been procrastinating on it because I love it so much. I just want to, you know, pair it up correctly. And this is from the new one. Let's see, I have it skeined up. This is the TP hoarder. So that's that because who doesn't need a sparkly TP hoarder? <laughs> so the, I'm just going to get over the brand ambassador stuff first. The third pair that I got for that were these. I have wanted these for a long time, but I couldn't find uh, justification in my budget. And when they came up, I was just so happy. And I can't wait to have these. Couldn't wait to have these. And I, I haven't worn them yet. I've just been looking at them and petting them because I love them so much. Uh, but this will go with it really, really well. And that was part of my inspiration in doing that. I didn't tell you guys that I had these, this pair, but that was part of my inspiration in that was that I knew that it was gonna go with those. Uh, but I also pulled gray, because maybe, maybe a lacy pair in gray would be nice. But let's see. What about... Oh yeah, this. This is the new color, Social Isolation. This is mine, this is for the shelf. But you can see, I mean, I just really like the goldeny color. They would work. Let's see. Put that in there. You can see that. Not bad, not bad. Actually, this might be the pair of shoes that these go with. So uh, to get more life out of them, you gotta wear socks with them, right? Because otherwise I really probably won't wear those a whole lot uh, in the colder months just because, you know, they're sandals. But if I have a pair of socks, I'll wear them more. Okay, those, let's, I have a pair of dance ghosts sitting here. Cause it's not just all Sunitas, it's just mostly Sunitas. These dance goes, I know they're fun, right? What about, oh this, I didn't skein this up. What a mess, okay. Look at that. Let me skein that. Makes it look a little bit neater. This is called birthday cake. Just kind of craziness. It's a much lighter version than the shoe, but you know, still got that rainbowy thing going on. Because who doesn't love that? I mean, these shoes look great with pretty much any color black, solids. I mean, it looks good with that. Just the gray, uh, this hand spun. I don't wear blue a lot. Blue and purple are two colors that I don't wear a lot, uh, but I did pull some out for this because work as socks. I spin it all up because it's pretty on the shelf and I like it. This, this looks really, this is hand spun and it looks really, really good with it. Uh, and this, this is an old enchanted knoll bat that I made into hand spun. It's nice. It's purple. Not my thing, but a socks. Amazing. If you got the right shoe with it or that's my opinion. Okay. So that pair and I brought in a pair of sneakers my Converse which are looking pretty good they're not uh, 
I haven't worn them a ton. Let's see. But I also take care of them. My white Converse are still pretty white. These would also do well with the rainbow. And, oh yeah. Toxic. It's got that hot pink and that lime. Perfect. Let's see. Could even work with that. Oh yeah, makes that purple more tolerable. For me anyway. I know there's a lot of purple lovers out there. It's just not my thing. But it works great with the pink because pink is my thing. And continuing with the pink, I have these kind of plasticky clogs. I got these mostly for wearing in the garden, but they'll also pretty well work for work and stuff. Um, I almost think this is the winner for these. I think I really do need to make these because this will work really well with this pair, these guys, and these really well. So let's see. Yeah, that doesn't go as well. It goes really well with the rainbowy dance goes, but not as well with these. So I'm thinking this. See, as I'm going, I'm making a stack and I'm going to ask what the next cast on is. I have three new sets of needles that I bought. They don't have any yarn on them. So clearly I need to be doing some casting on. And you know, when you're self-isolating, what's a better thing to do than cast on, right? Nothing else. That's all I got to do. Oh, wait. But that works really well with that too. So this is clearly a forerunner in some of that. Okay. I have another pair. Well, I have two more pairs of the Sinitas in that rubbery material. I don't even know what they call it. Skulls. I love skulls. Uh, that's just one of the things that I collect. And I pulled this combo because how perfect would stripes in this be with these shoes? I love it. But if I wanted hand spun, that works really well with it too. And it would match with the jeans because this is very denim-y looking. And it's hand spun. And I really like working with hand spun. Okay, that's a real decision. That's, I'm going to have to really ask on that one. I, this, this shoe with either this or this. That's going to definitely be an Instagram question. I'm going to be putting up a bunch of things in my uh, stories for a poll. So after this video airs, head on over to my Instagram and tell me what your opinion is. Okay. So then I have these white ones. Whew, they're just glaring in the light. Um, I really only got these because they go with my school uniform, which is white on top and I'm getting the bottom. So you can see that I wear them with this blue. It's my uniform, okay guys? It's what I have to wear. I, I can wear the black shoes with it, but you know, these were cheap and kind of liked them. So white Sunita clogs to go with it. And these are the pants that I wear with it. Uh, the pants kind of mostly cover over it, but just to jazz it up, I could wear socks like this, something fun. These that I talked about with the other one would totally work. A little birthday cake. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> this might have to be the winner for these though is wash your damn hands. Uh, okay. I hadn't planned on making these, but now, now we know that this one is going to have to be made at some point because it's due. And that's pretty much it. I mean, I have my black pair, my black shiny pair. They've held up really well. Um, but you know, I could wear any of these, make any of these to go with the black. So it's really not that, that difficult. I just kind of want to make it match your top. 
So there's that. If you're bored or if you're not bored, if you just want to play with your stash and you want to be inspired, uh, this is the game and the challenge I give to you is to pull out some of your favorite shoes that will also show at least some part of your sock. Uh, whether it's like a backless clog or a clog that you wear shorter pants with, a pair of sneakers that they show with. Take some of your shoes out and uh, find some yarn in your stash that'll go with them or some fiber that needs to be spun into hand spun, if you're a hand spinner. And start on a new pair of socks. Why not? You know? If you're not wearing your hand spun with a particular pair of shoes because, or hand spun socks with a hand knit socks with a particular pair of shoes because you don't have any, that's the first pair of shoes to start with, right? And that's kind of where I was starting with is uh, some of these, I just, I have a lot of socks, but they don't match all of these shoes. I have a lot more shoes. I can admit that. I have a lot of shoes. I have a ridiculous amount of shoes. I love that I have a ridiculous amount of shoes. I have an even more ridiculous stash and I'm pretty happy with that as well. So pull out your shoes, pull out your stash, uh, figure something out and together let's cast on some new socks. So head on over to my Instagram and help me figure out what the next three things that I cast on for. And I'm probably going to put up more than three things because there's a lot of yarn here. And uh, why not? Then we'll figure out what I'm going to cast on and we'll do a little cast on together. Okay, everybody. See you in a bit.